of life cycle you are going to get a lot of questions in the pmp exam starting 2021 on this subject the kind of questions you are going to get is um situation and then which life cycle should you suggest hi my name is kavita sharma and today we going to be picking up one of the most important topic called plc so what is that which we going to learn um we would learn about different type of project life cycle we going to get into deep dive into the topic and uh, at the end there's going to be let's play um this would be certain scenarios and we would have a discussion as which scenario or which project should select which type of life cycle all these topics are picked up from the book called pmp study guide this is the book um so this book is available at a project life cycle is the way i as a project manager start my project and deliver the project deliverables so there are three ways i i can deliver the expected outcomes the first one is predictive what is predictive i'm going to talk about that i have slide on this um adaptive if the requirements are not clear you want to go with um you know when customer is slightly hazy about requirements there are three ways to go about that iterative incremental and agile so we're going to be picking up those and uh, discuss that and then uh, where should we use hybrid sort of methodology so stay tuned in and we're going to discuss that so let's talk about predictive life cycle what is it it is also called fully plan driven um when should i use it or what kind of uh, life cycle is this wherein you you have gone through this particular life cycle so many times think about construction you construct a building first floor second floor third floor construction happens and then the next set of thing wiring plumbing and things like that going to happen and then finishing and then you hand over so this happens once you do not say that after second floor i'm gonna i don't like it let's redesign it and let's move away from floor 2 let's have redo of floors third and so on so a predictive life cycle is uh, we plan we do we check and act and we deliver where where can i use it when the customer requirements are precise because this is i plan first i eliminate changes i do not want lot of changes to happen because if there are lot of changes then there's going to be whole lot of problem risk and um think about burj khalifa when this was made um it was supposed to be the tallest building but by the time it was constructed then there was a problem it was second tallest building so the person who was responsible for this said that why don't we have why don't we construct something on top of this now there are strong winds there are problems um, but the team anyway did it but it came with a lot of risk came with a lot of rework um so that's a successful example wherein there was a lot of money to spare but you don't want a lot of money to be spared on your fp project what is fp project fixed price project right okay so where do i do predictive life cycles it is plan first do test and whatever the phases are we we go sequentially um where can i plan first where the industry is mature where i know how to gather requirements when uh, the cost of change is really high i should be planning for least changes so let's again have a real look at few of the things we fixed requirement one of the key attribute for this we do single delivery if a building is made we hand it over we don't hand it over things in isolation a building has to be done um the goal ultimate goal is to manage cost and activities performed are once per project so we don't go reiterate we do the activity we go ahead and do the next set of activities for example we plan we develop we test and we deliver that's how we going to go with 
the predictive life cycle. It is also called waterfall life cycle because we don't go back. Let's look at adoptive uh, project life cycles. There are times when the industry is not mature, when the requirements are slightly hazy and uh, the customer is not sure. So um, there are three flavors to it. What were those three flavors? Do you remember them? So the first one was incremental life cycle. What is incremental? In case the customer is not sure of all the requirement, but these people are sure of some requirement. Think about there's a there's a there's a complex uh, residential complex which a builder wants to make. They are not too sure of the swimming pool specification. Not sure of building one specification, but building two and there are building three and four but they got approval of building three they know what is the um, sizes they, they got a blueprint signed off on this and the goal is let's do it fast at least we can do whatever is there at least let's start delivering so the goal is speed so do you want all of these to first of all get fixed and then only you start preparing no because the speed is the ultimate goal i need to deliver as soon as possible so i can start delivering incrementally so i deliver the first phase which is building number three um, then by the time you deliver phase uh, you know phase one which is this building by the by that time there would be specifications ready for the other set of things and then you deliver as an increment so these are frequent small deliveries because we get the requirements closed for the first phase we deliver that we plan do check and act and then the requirements for the second phase are closed we do pdca and so on so when do i use it when there are dynamic requirements activities are performed once per increment so it is typically a predictive life cycle within a particular rollout within a particular delivery iterative life cycles where do i use it as i said there are requirements when the requirements keep changing when i am not too sure of what should i do so dynamic requirements activities are repeated until correct why because the goal is correct solution and the delivery has to be single delivery now think of a pacemaker there is a, a pacemaker which a medical team wants to make do you want to deliver a faulty or half pacemaker you don't want to do that right so what you do is you create a pacemaker i don't know the shape of it so this is the for a namesake so this is the shape right now for pacemaker it has certain features let's say 10 features so you want to deliver a full pacemaker with 10 features okay it has to be correct in case something is not working we again re-deliver with certain features so the idea is we do single delivery with correct solution we repeat until we get it correct and then only we roll it out further so that is iterative and you would see it like this iterative the next one is agile life cycle now where do i use it you might have heard agile life cycle so many times there are so many methodologies um, and every place we would want to put in agile life cycle that is good because agile agile gives you a lot of flexibility so let's look at agile um, there are dynamic requirements if the requirements are changing let's use agile okay why what is the ultimate goal the value to the customer should be given so i should be able to deliver high value item first to the customer for this agile manifesto is followed so you might want to have a look at the agile manifesto go and search for it you can find it called an agile manifesto.org so um 
what are the unique features and when should I select agile so the first unique feature of agile is it is time boxed what does it mean so typically if you go back to iterative or incremental or predictive life cycle what we do is we have scope we say these are my features which I want to develop my team sit and estimate for timelines or schedule my team and me sit and an estimate for cost along with other stuff like quality procurement and things like that but understand scope is fixed I deliver a fixed scope for a particular delivery for a particular iteration now here um, the thought process is different the thought process is that we have a fixed what we have a fixed time so time is fixed what does agile team says that I should be able to deliver something of value to the customer from one week till four weeks so agile team selects and typically it is two week cycle in general what I have seen um, so agile team sits together along with the customer or a new role called product owner and they say what is that which I can deliver within the iteration length now time is fixed understand if the time is fixed I'm gonna look at the product backlog or the features which are to be developed and I see what are those features which are most valuable to the customer and which have a lot of clarity um, clarity meaning the requirements are clear and I can go ahead and start developing that so those set of features or those set of product backlog items are selected for execution and understand only those features are selected which can be developed within a fixed iteration length so I deliver something of the value within two weeks you can have anywhere between one to four weeks so um, the delivery becomes I pick up something which is of value within an iteration if the product owner likes it we go ahead and pick up something else and delivers it if it is not perfect we can iterate the same features back and deliver again so it uses incremental as well as iterative approach the key differentiator is it is time boxed and there is a value which we are delivering to the customer hybrid um, so when should I use hybrid methodology now think about the industries which are typical um, you know predictive industries for example construction of a building so you construct the building but there is a phase called design phase in the construction now this design phase is not does not produce something which you can touch if it does not produce waste if we do rework or if we scrap that any phase which can be done in software or thinking or which uses very less um, resources if we redo if we un control Z that phase can be done using agile approach or iterative or incremental approach so typically agile approach um, how think about in construction we can design blueprint all of those phases can use agile methodologies rest of the other phases like construction testing plumbing all of that gonna be done using the way it is going on uh, think about automobile industry when you are developing a new automobile um, the design and prototype can go with agile approach and rest of the other after the assembly line all the other are gonna go in the sequence so we can use hybrid approach of development whenever there are new thoughts whenever there is new innovation which we need to do whenever we need to create a new product in the older predictive sort of industries we cannot change the entire process because it has to be sequential process but 
any new change can be done using agile out there uh, where do we use it establishes pro established processes mix of both um, the delivery approaches mix of both ad agile as well as predictive goal research and development innovation providing value to the customer changes in while at the time of designing at earlier in the life cycle of the project so that is the goal of hybrid project life cycles let me do a recap so whenever i look at a problem statement we need to see how are the requirements are the requirement precise or changing if it is precise which one should we use you know predictive if it is changing how much what is the emphasis on if the emphasis is on um, you need to see what is the customer goal is it speed is it correctness of the solution or is it value okay um, basis and there are other parameters is it single delivery or is it multiple deliveries is it time boxed or is it variable schedule you know you are free to create your own schedule what about the waste what about physical waste how much waste are we doing um, if we redo a particular iteration if we redo a particular deliverable so before you select a particular uh, you know a particular life cycle please ensure that we look into all these parameters now um, let's have a look at this scenario the customer is new to mobile application development their requirement keep changing now, now which industry is this mobile app development so there is no physical waste um, the requirement keep changing requirements are dynamic the team learns new possibilities of features every day they are very excited to start rolling out new features to their users the key focus is to roll out valuable features so you got a keyword called valuable features see the market feedback and build on the feedback so you get another a uh, keyword called feedback and then built on the new feedback which life cycle would you propose to them so out of all of that which life cycle would you propose here the most appropriate is it predictive no is it hybrid no is it incremental maybe is it iterative maybe is it agile look at the keyword call valuable features the most so the most correct answer would be agile let's look at the scenario 2 the customer wants to build a website for their upcoming new segment of clothing lines Uh, the clothing lines are supposed to be rolled out in a specific sequence there are few designers which the fashion brand employs they are expected to launch their collection soon the de dates keep changing something is fixed but deliverables are not out each designer work once finished can be showcased on the new platform however the current emphasis to roll out a campaign to showcase the upcoming new fashion lines and build excitement so there is some part of requirements which are still clear the next set of roll out would depend on the designers and their completion of the designs the designs are yet to commit the designers are yet to commit to the timelines which life cycle would you propose um to this particular scenario so which one let's let's look at are the requirement clear um they are dynamic are there some requirements which are clear yes some requirements are clear what is the emphasis so the current emphasis to roll out a campaign to showcase this so i need to roll out something so the the goal is speed there is something which needs to be rolled out right now um what else 
is there a single delivery or multiple deliveries so from the entire solution it looks like there can be multiple updates to the website so when i look at all of this is it predictive i cannot roll out everything together so it is not is it agile most valuable item they're not saying that what they're saying is i need to do this first so not agile is this iterative complete single delivery no is it incremental some piece of website updates right now campaign then the later on designer one designer two and so on yes it is so this becomes incremental um, a good candidate a very good candidate for incremental methodology you deliver in phases let's look at the scenario three you are managing a product called oplay the product is a collaboration platform where people can find their friends or communities and play games with them. You have few games in mind to launch. Some of the games are Tetris, you know, checkers and whatever. You want to ensure that each game variant works perfectly on all mobile platforms. No errors can be tolerated as this will be bad for your brand and application. Which methodology would work best for such scenario? now which one is it time boxed so it is not time boxed you need to ensure that the goal is correctness so when you get a goal which is correctness the obvious answer would be iterative so it becomes iterative you iterate one game at a time and so on okay iterative and then incremental so it is both of these methodology so let's look at scenario four you are tasked to make a bridge between two villages over a river the bridge should be constructed to allow a seamless travel of vehicles and people from both villages the government body issued a contract to your organization with the required specification the emphasis is that the bridge should be rolled out soon and at a fixed cost which methodology should be selected for the project development now the keyword which you have got is fixed cost required specifications and it is a bridge um, so if it if you need to do undo or if you do not do something right there's going to be a whole lot of waste so the best methodology to select out here is fixed requirement and the emphasis on cost so which one is the best methodology you should select predictive awesome so now you're getting the hang of things let's look at the last one um, sorry about the spelling here you work as a manager with an automobile manufacturing unit the company is facing a challenge now that the government has come out with new emission and safety laws um, this would require a redesign of the engine and interiors including safety gears. Uh, the engine design is complex and goes through a lot of trials and errors. Rest of the other phases of the vehicle production once the engine and safety norms are satisfied, they are easier to follow. There is a fixed or standard approach um, like assembly, painting etc. Which methodology would you recommend for the above scenario? Now here if you look at this particular part of the development it requires iterations of a lot of iterations as well as uh, revisions as well as features to be added and so on so here you can go ahead and use agile approach and the rest of the other approaches for the other phases would be predictive so this is a classic case of hybrid methodologies that's it from me um, this is Kavita Sharma this is taken from the book called past PMP in 21 days study guide um, you can buy the book from what you see on the screen Amazon the website or you can read it online at Apple books Google or Kindle books thank you for watching the video I hope you liked it 
that you can buy the books from Amazon it's available in paperback as well as Kindle version in case you have any suggestion reach out to me at kavitasharma.net your suggestion makes the book the way it is um, which is a good book so let me know um, how you feel let me know your suggestions have a very nice day bye bye oh, oh, oh.